Our first stop on our drive to Blue Mountain was Solvi, a Jamaican restaurant that served up some of the best Jamaican food I've had in Canada. Adama Estate is a picturesque winery pouring a wide range of refreshing wines that are true to the terroir of Orangeville. It is a perfect evening stop. Our Airbnb in Blue Mountain is beyond gorgeous. They even have a studio for retreats. Planning one soon? This is your spot. Oh, and did I mention the hospitality? Five star. We were treated so well. There's so much to do at Blue Mountain. If you're an adventure seeker, there's zip lining, there's a spa to relax, hike in the mountain, and of course, biking. I checked out the Iowa Spa. It has a number of services. I did the Ganban Volcanic Rock Therapy. Sounds kooky in theory, but extremely relaxing in experience. While I was relaxing at a spa, this crazy guy was doing downhill biking. If you're crazy like him, you'll enjoy this mountain. This is definitely one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. It is quite busy, but there's plenty of spots you can go where there wasn't many people around. I'll leave some tips about how to enjoy this experience in a blog. Look out for the link. There are plenty of quiet spots without people to enjoy the beach. On our drive back to Toronto, we made this final stop at this Japanese restaurant. At first glance, I was like, uh-uh, no way this is a great spot. But Google reviews, yelp, and my boyfriend said it was great, and it turned out to be one of the best Japanese food I've had in Toronto. Orangeville is doing something good. Toronto to Tobermory is an amazing weekend trip. 